Hello, people of you, welcome to Mr. Two Views. Where today I'll be doing Yu Gi Oh! GX Season 1. Yu Gi Oh! GX takes place 7, 10 years from the original series. And some people say, or some of the fans say it's a spin off, but I don't know. Like, aren't spin off supposed to have like the secondary characters be the main? Character on the show, I mean, protagonist. Just. Whatever. Anyway, the main protagonist in this is Dating Yuki. He's sort of a goofball that doesn't take that much in seriously, but when he duels, he's sort of half and half. And it's also the season with Dual Academy, where, and that's at school when they teach dueling. And it's made by Seto Kaiba. And this built the students in three uh, three groups. Slacker Red, who has the slackers or the runts of uh, the school. Raw Yellow, who are the ring acts or the, the ones that got high, very high scores on the, the entrance exam. And Obelisk Blue, the best of the students, and probably the richest. And it doesn't make sense because Kaiba was the one that had Obelisk at the time, so the horse yet that has to be the best of the groups. Also, this season deals with dual spirits, where basically mon dual monsters, but some duelists can't see them. This makes no sense because I thought back in the uh, season four of the original one they said that the dual monsters come from like a parallel world called Mean the Beasts. I think it looks better coffee over here. But some uh, characters from uh Renugo do uh make a big cap do cameo. I think Kyber does the most. It makes sense to voice after voices that one of Dane's uh, friends, Bastion. So, yeah, I can't say. Anyway, I begin in the first episode, Jen actually bumped into Yugi when uh, he is uh, going for an entry exam, and you give him a card, which is Win Karibo. And he is kind of late, so the pseudo. Bad guy or Congolese bad guy Dr. Crowler and uh, duels him, and he does get paid with any time someone calls him Miss. I kind of makes sense with the uh, fashion, but uh, I'm always it's like that in the Japanese version as well. Oh, yeah, I also want to mention that I'm not going to give my opinion on all the opening the uh, song in the Japanese version since the first year okay but the favorite has to be from season four. I'll probably get to that one after that. Anyway the duels in this season are good but I think Dave has to be the one that duels the most. It makes sense if he's the protagonist but I sort of take a while for the cell to find I don't have a decent plot. Before they actually have one, they just do like school stuff. Whether it be Zayden dating against the rivals, uh, Chaz to get promoted to uh, a different part of school, or these uh, two guys taking the cards from the people that are bullying them. And for some reason, they have a Tennis court. What? I know there's cards that are focused around tennis, but they have to play it, like the get actual tennis game, in the show. Probably a dual school. Not dual and any other type of sports. And as usual, as in 
has a woman trust in the main female character, Alexis. Um, she's okay. The only thing they have her doing is trying to find her brother who went missing either in his second or fourth year in Duo Academy, I don't really know. And they have her in about a few duels, and one of them with Dana, which he lost. I won't against uh, Titan, who is uh, a dual mercenary, or the carnival person. And there's some other ones, like another one with Titan, the one against one of our sophomore the classmates named Pierre, and one against Chaz when he started developing feelings for Alexis. For her, I don't know what's going on. The character of Chaz is, is okay and probably one of my favorite characters, but he didn't read that high, probably top 10. I don't know. He's kind of pressured of it being the best duelist by his two brothers since they want to get with the world. I can kind of see it after he comes back for the school duel against Day and I'm just freaking out in the bathroom. So um, you can kind of see it, and he freaks out. I mean, what's that? Um, what's the word? Well, a bit of a jerk. Sometimes. I think that's the word for it. Yep. Anyway, with, oh yeah, no, there's also a, a two parter where uh, Yugi's deck is on tour, and it's a uh, guy that the uh, cop capitalist takes it. I think his name is Dimitri or something. And you try, I just saw that, uh, an imitation of a uh, Yugi's voice and has the uh, uh, outline of the landing puzzle on that shirt. It's of course the episode. I just saw that he's doing the copies of the show on that. It was good. But before that, there's kind of a weird episode. Where there's a girl named Blair pretending to be a boy and is in dual academy because she had a thing for Zane, the, the best duelist in the school for that year, and the big brother of uh, one of Zane's friends, uh, Cyrus. He was, he was kind of like a typical nerd, but after the duel, he and Zane had like, the Paradox Brothers. Kind of saying it's a little bit more. Confidence a bit, but you know. anyway, with Blair, she just had sneaked into Zane's dead room and then duel Zayden, and then after getting defeated by Zayden, and then uh, do not deny the road from Zane, she got a quote from Zayden. Then it's just a freaky episode, especially when. During the duel, the monsters are talking. I hate that in the English duel, the two monsters, the uh, guy monsters, they bro pack. It's just bad. Uh, not bad like the Japanese episode, where Zane said that heroes don't fall in love. I don't know why he said that. I don't think the people that don't, that, uh, that wrote this know what heroes actually do. It's just, a weird, weird episode. Anyway, with the rest of the part of the series is with these, uh, this group of people called the Shadow Riders who have these uh, artifacts called the uh, Shadow Charms. It has the same Egyptian eye on it that the Millennium Items have, so I don't know what it's in home. Maybe not even 20 or something. And again, they say they're in a shadow duel. Even though the shadow realm was, was like destroyed or locked up somewhere after the ending of the first the original version. I, I don't know. Some of them were okay. They got Okay, characters, okay, duel with 
that and Mike Stroud who was taken over as Jeff and Alexis Brothers mine or the vampire woman that actually won against Crowder and Zane. And the Amazonists who could also be a cat at all. What the fuck they explain at the end of the door as a Dane book. Hmm. And there was another weird episode when they had a, a dual spirit special and the spirit of a dark magician girl is there and dual against Dane. I think I had dark magician girl. But there's no way that the Dark Magician girl in that episode is anything like the Dark Magician from season 4 or three years ago. It was too bubbly to actually uh, be that one. Which, what can I say? Oh yeah, there's also another weird one where Dane is doing against cap this uh, captain that wants to do undersea dual academy and cut Dane as one of the teachers. And there's a freaky one where this shadow writer that sounds the like actor sounds like he's doing an impression of Christopher Walken. Or just imagine that. An anime version of Christopher freaking Walkman. What? It's just so weird. And then the final one is that the one of the other teachers and the head of the uh, Sliper Dorm uh, uh, I forget his name right now um, uh, Fetcher Banner of course I remember in there so that's he's somebody else I forget his name but you'll see him and Zayden in sort of cool when he finally tells him that yes he had fixed all, all, all the other duels that Zayden had and Zayden is not exactly the duelist And then at the final part of the Shadow Riders arc, it turns out that uh, this chancellor of the school, who find old Tang, and as he takes the sacred beasts from their home, of where they're holding the sacred beasts, and they're sort of like the yeah, different god cards for the season, but yet yeah, that way it's uh, traps and spells. Someone do them. Yeah, you know they came up, only came up with anything new when they had to make clones of the different gods, didn't you? Yeah. Anyway, as usual, they win. So the last three episodes are go where another uh, day in friend that somebody who looks like a quarter bear wins that uh, competition from Social Illusions to become a, a car designer and has a duel against uh, a Crowler to determine whether he has the course view or not and he loses but Crowler says he, he can go and be a car designer and then in the last two episodes is the graduation duel between Zane and Jaden, and of course Jaden is just that trying to use his head to be being able to make walking. So eventually he realized that he should do it all he does and has lunch right in the middle of the duel. Yep. That's a side character. Jaden is. And they draw at the end. Well, it's a good, good ending. But, oh, well. He looks actually just weird sometimes. And trust me, being here it gets even weirder. And some of the times it sounds like the like, actors are just doing the presence of different people. But the character stuff is good, even though with Alexis, they don't really do anything with her after her uh, brother was uh, put into the show and, and after uh, Jane beat the uh, nice shroud. And then uh, he just recovered after that. Um, I think they made him dumber 
in the English dub because in episode where he do where he actually knows what Fred Super is or at, at the end of the, at the end of the duel. But in the English version you have to ask what it is. I don't know. I think the other thing make make it some more funny something. Um, he also was just that thing with the abandoned dorm where they and uh, Electric Space at Titan where this uh, paparazzi guy, a photographer, trying to get information about it since uh, there have been a lot more students bouncing in that dorm and not really answered until the last season of the GX so. And what the hell did GX stand for? Like, I know it's gener Generation X, was well, already Generation 10 or, or what? And then it's catchphrases, er, uh, kind of good with, with our, uh, that, that's game. Um, the Get Your Game On. This is the name of the open song and the English version. I kind of like the open song. Very Catchy. And I do, uh, hold it some of the times I'll sing it to the show. It's just, it's either breaking the fourth wall or an old coincidence. I don't know why they do this in the dorm. They do it later, I think once in, uh, Bugle 5Ds. Ah. <sighs> oh. Um, I could have, uh, seven. Now then, now next season, way better, better villain, a better rival for the, for the, uh, that from the friends. And I think, from, I think, uh, he's, um, kind of a near today. It's sort of like, the uh, Batman to Superman. Um, it just gets creepier a little bit, but, yeah, okay. Uh, until next time, I'm a Okay.